Hey guys, um, today I want to talk to you about meditation and what I've found out, which is quite surprising actually. Uh, so you know meditation is like all the rage now, everybody's like, yeah, you have to meditate, your life will improve and everything like that. And so the typical way that people suggest meditation is, what's it called, mindfulness meditation, when you basically just sit down, relax, pay attention to your breath, all that kind of stuff. And uh, it works. I, I tried it. It works. Like, it relaxes you a lot. Uh, but uh, here's one thing. Some people, like me, uh, are not very good at that. So what I found is, if I meditate like that, I can't do it for a long time. I, I kind of burn out or <laughs> start overheating my brain in like... 10 minutes and so I don't know it just doesn't feel right you know like doesn't feel good in my body so it, yeah it does relax my mind but not so good and uh, so what I found working for me is quite surprisingly um, you can call it like sports meditation I guess it's when you do some kind of sport which doesn't require a lot of thinking and then by doing that you have your body busy and then you just relax your mind which is kind of the same as the goal of meditation so the way I found it out found it out anyway the way I discovered it for myself was this I went to a park with a soccer ball and so I started just running around, uh, kicking the ball into the wall and then it comes back, kick again, you know that kind of stuff just plain fun and then I decided wait a second why don't I just run a bit uh, around the park and uh, I decided to run with a ball which is a slightly unusual thing for me to do usually if I run I run uh, like by myself without the ball anybody else and so then my body is busy but then my mind is like paying attention to everything around and it just kind of doesn't relax me at all uh, but this time I decided to run with a ball and so what I found out is that my mind is paying attention to the ball so like I have to track where it's going my body is kind of busy running <laughs> catching the ball and so in that wonderful condition when your mind is busy your body is busy on a simple task so like a child can do that so what you find is that most of your brain will relax and will just kind of shut down and so what I found is that running that way was so relaxing for me I mean like I could do this for like minutes and minutes and minutes and I basically lost track of time and I kind of forgot about my own existence which is kind of the goal of meditation right so that's number one running with a ball and maybe you will find something else but here's an idea you don't have to sit down to meditate uh, idea number two which is even more bizarre is that uh, playing games can be meditative so recently I uh, installed a game called GTR 2 it's an old racing game uh, it's very highly rated so if you like that kind of thing I really recommend that you check it out GTR 2 anyway so what I found is that that game, as well actually racing in general, doesn't require you to think a lot. Like, you just learn your braking points, you learn your speeds, your gears, how fast you need to go through corners and everything like that. And then you just do it for many, many, many times. Uh, so you're doing many laps. For example, if you're doing 20 laps, you have to kind of relax and you have to just do your thing. And uh, once you learn, let's say, a track, a racetrack, uh, then what you will find out is that basically your body and some part of your mind will do it automatically. So, like, your fingers will <laughs> accelerate and stop and turn, and uh, your eyes will track the um, braking points. So, most of your uh, mind and body will be kind of not busy. And so, when that happens, somewhere in the background of your mind things will start to change 
so your body will um, basically kind of start the mental cleanup I guess so when you take away let's say 20% of your conscious attention you just take it away it's busy with the game then the 80% or I don't know how many that percentage will have to do something and most likely what it will have to do is figure out your life problems whatever is bothering you you know that kind of stuff that you usually don't have time to think about so which is surprisingly similar to meditation uh, but uh, when you meditate you kind of force your conscious mind to just cease to function and uh, I personally find it slightly not violent forceful I guess but uh, when you play a game no force needed like it's fun <laughs> you're just playing a game and uh, so this is my point number two that if you want to meditate but you can't find strength or mental toughness or whatever to just sit down and meditate and force your mind to like not think about anything you might find that sports and computer games can be very relaxing and very kind of meditative so I hope you find it helpful and see you